I don't know a if I want to shoot you. If you please. I'm sure you know how to handle most nobility, but the game is nothing like the Free March's intrigues. It is no simple matter of etiquette and protocol. Every word, every gesture is measured and evaluated for weakness. I'll keep my guard up. Don't worry. The game is like wicked grace played to the death. You must never reveal your cards. When you meet the Empress, the eyes of the entire court will be upon you. You are safer staring down Corypheus. Is all this worry just for my sake? You're going in there unarmed. If anything happens to you... Andraste, watch over us all. <laughs> That's how it go. Hmm. Everything blocked off. Interesting. Oh, I should have heard. What up? So, are all the people that was in my party in here? So, uh, we're solvers? Okay, I don't know. Seriously, did you get a look at the steps? I think they're gilded. The sooner we go in, the sooner we can get this over with. How can they call this a vestibule? It's a foyer. Please, it's barely half the size of the foyer in the Imperial How Palace. How the Empress afford this to renovate the palace without what we're going on? I'll call it more of an empty it wasn't renovations at all. No one asked you. Who am I eavesdropping on? Waste of time. She. Boy, a wing he. The guest wing is not open to the public at this time, Inquisitor. Oh, we're. Grand Duke Shad Gaspar. And now presenting Grand Duke Gaspard de Chalon, and accompanying him, Lord Inquisitor Trevelyan, son of Ban Trevelyan of Ostwick. <laughs> Shepherd and leash of the Wayward Order of Templars, purger of the heretics from the ranks of the faithful. This guy writes better fiction than I do. Champion of the Blessed Andraste herself. <laughs> Did you see that faces? Priceless. Accompanying the Inquisitor, Seeker, Cassandra, Allegra, Portia, Calogera, Philomena. Get on with it. Tantagast, 14th cousin to the King of Navarra, nine times removed, hero of Orlet. Right Hand of the Divine. Renowned author, Barak Thethrus. Head of Noble House Thethrus. Cousin, my dear sister. Grand Duke, we are always honored when your presence graces our court. Don't waste my time with pleasantries, Celine. We have business to conclude. We will meet for the negotiations after we have seen to our other guests. Oh, so that's the dickhead that they said I can't trust? Lord Inquisitor, we welcome you to the Winter Palace. Allow us to present our cousin, the Grand Duchess of Leeds, without whom this gathering would never have been possible. What an unexpected pleasure. I was not aware the Inquisition would be part of our festivities. We will certainly speak later, Inquisitor. Your arrival at court is like a cool wind on a summer's day. I'm delighted to be here, Your Majesty. We have heard much of your exploits, Inquisitor. They have made grand tales for long evenings. How do you find Halam Shiral? I have no words to suffice. Halam Shiral has many beauties, and I couldn't do them justice. Your modesty does you credit, and speaks well for the Inquisition. Feel free to enjoy the pleasures of the ballroom, Inquisitor. We look forward to watching you dance. Dance?
Inquisitor. A word when you have a moment. Papa's perfectly happy in the studio. Josephine! Oh, Josephine! Is this him? <sighs> Inquisitor, please allow me to present to you my younger sister, Yvette Gabriella what? Montillier. Delighted to meet you, Lady Montillier. <laughs> Inquisitor, I've heard so much about you, but not as much as I want. Josephine writes, but she never tells me anything. Is it true? You and Josephine are going to elope and move to the Anderfels and join the Grey Wardens and fight Darkspawn? Yvette! I want to know. I already packed our bags, didn't I, darling? I knew it! Inquisitor, please give her no more ammunition. I beg you. This may be my only chance to hear about when Josephine was a girl. She told you about when she was ten, and... Yvette. Stop. Oh, fine. Or what about when we were climbing the cliffs by the... No. She once told the Duke of... Absolutely not. Hmm. She still plays with her doll collection when no one's looking. <laughs> Yvette. <laughs> That's absurd. Absolutely preposterous. <laughs> Which power should the Inquisition throw its weight behind? Selene has held the throne successfully for years. I see no profit in ousting her. Gaspard has run military campaigns, but never a kingdom. His transition would be, let us say, chaotic. Enjoying the ball? I see many of them. The dancing is so dull, your worship, but the Empress's gallery is magnificent. Yvette, sorry to see. Go on, Josephine. Half a royal must be empty, so many of the Empire's finest are in attendance. They've noticed the Empress paying you special attention, but they don't quite know how to take advantage of it yet. This uncertainty won't last long, I'm afraid. Tell me about yourself, Lady Yvette. This is the first time I've encountered any of Josephine's family. She would forget to mention the artists. I've been studying painting under Antiva's royal tutors. You should be proud, Josie. I'm going to be exhibiting my work next season in the city's biggest salon. Have you actually sat down and finished the painting yet? I must wait for my inspiration. And I must wait for your tutor spirits. I'll see you later. Another time. So I'm guessing that's Liliana on the other half of the shit. Oh, can't jump over that shit. Told me I could. Cause maybe there was some other shit that could go down there. Hmm? There ain't jack shit out here neither. God damn. There ain't jack shit anywhere, man. Fuck. I'm trying to find all the secrets. Where has that servant gone? You must dance with me, Commander. You cannot stand about all evening. I'm afraid not. Thank you. I have heard they are the finest Inquisitor. in the Empire. Did you need something? The sooner we track down this infiltrator, the better. You've attracted a following. Who are all these people? I don't know, but they won't leave me alone. I take it you're not enjoying yourself. At this point, the headache I'm developing is preferable to the company. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary? I'll let you know at once if I do. Do you have any advice? Orlesian social events don't fall within my area of expertise. There are a few here we can trust. Be careful. Who do you think the Inquisition should support? Gaspard's claim to the throne is fair. Orlais needs someone capable of responding to the crisis at hand. A military-minded leader seems the best option. Fuck that. We'll talk later. I wait your soon. I'm going with Josephine. Laurent was the love. Perhaps we can speak later, Inquisitor. Is there an eavesdrop spot I can find? I still remember the day they came to tell me that my second husband, Philippe, was drunk. You can't get past that nigga, so... Where Liliana is written? No, that's Cassandra. Where the fuck is Liliana at? Josephine. Colin. Pretty sure that's one of the, yeah. It's the shit that that other nigga was guarding. And I can't even get in there. So we're pretty sure I've been anywhere, so I think I have to. And I don't think I can jump down there. Damn. I just fucked myself up doing it. Fuck it. Maybe something I can, I can do from over here. 
So do I have to find like all those collectibles like your statuettes and all that stuff in this area by itself? The fuck loading screens in this game. Oh my god, this shit better not be stuck on this fucking loading screen, man. Nigga, like, for real. Come on, yo. Man, this crap really froze on the loading screen. Fuck it. I'll be right back. Good. I was hoping it would catch you. What did the Duke say? He points the finger at Ambassador Briala. The Ambassador is up to something, but she can't be our focus. The best place to strike at Celine is from her side. Empress Celine is fascinated by mysticism, foreseeing the future, speaking with the dead, that sort of rubbish. She has an occult advisor, an apostate who charmed the Empress and key members of the court as if by magic. I've had dealings with her in the past. She is ruthless and capable of anything. How can Selene openly keep an apostate in the Imperial Court? The Imperial Court has always had an official position for a mage. Before now, it was little better than court jester. Vivian was the first to turn that appointment into a source of real political power. When the circles rebelled, technically every mage became an apostate. The word lost much of its strength. You should have told me this in the war room. I didn't suspect her until we arrived. The last time I was at court, she was merely Celine's pet. No one cared for her. They just enjoyed the drama. Now she has secured powerful friends. It's a very abrupt change. She's worth investigating. Can't be sure of anything here. Both leads point toward the guest wing. It's a promising place to start. I'll coordinate with our spies to see if I can find anything better. I will be in the ballroom if you need me. I do, because I need to give you this fucking letter. The fuck? How the hell did I lose approval? Fuck y'all. This ball is a waste of time. Like all Orlesian foolishness. Let's find the Venatori collaborator and get out of here. Foggy. Stay alert. We don't know where the enemy is hiding. I'll be watching for trouble. The sooner we leave this place, the better. Nothing to go through this way. Come on, just give me something. Cassandra's still just chilling right there. See a purple mark up ahead. Of course, just like every other door in this damn place is locked. We are not serving drinks. Bother someone else. Interesting. The package is in the guest wing. Upper room. The one of the garden. Statuette. There he is. I do adore the heady blend of power. Intrigue, danger, and sex that permeates these events. You seem more comfortable with a Grand Orlesian Bull than I'd have expected. I have seen countless such displays in my journeys in the Fae. The powerful have always been the same. Only the costumes change. Have you seen anything useful? No, sadly. I do not have the look of one of the Elven servants, or I might well be invisible. I wonder how masked men live their lives without ever seeing that servants have an entire society of their own. If you want to find something useful, I would pay attention to what the servants do. Have you encountered any trouble with the nobles? The Olesians do not quite know what to make of me. I have kept to myself for fear of giving them some purchase to cling to. The food and drink are excellent, however, and the servants have been happy to refill my glass. I'll be back. And well. There must be something here. Wait, are you? Well, well, the Inquisitor. Here as a guest of my nephew, no less. I'm curious. Have you noticed anything strange this evening? My niece, Rorian, hasn't spoken to me all evening. That's not like her. What can you tell me about the Civil War? If you are hoping for insight, you've come to the wrong man. It's war. It is brutal and terrible and sometimes necessary. There's nothing more to say. 
I didn't know the Grand Duke was your nephew. He's my brother's eldest boy. Always a difficult child, Gaspar. Never listened, never did what he was told. He was raised a prince. All his life we told him he would be emperor. It was his destiny, his duty. What else should he do with his life if not fight for his destiny? Another time, my lord. So he's Alberto Del Rio. Alright, good to know. I still want to know what the hell I did to lose. You don't want to be here, stranger. To lose that one approval. He hasn't made the pickup. It's been hours. He went into the servant's wing. Nobody's come out of there all night. I'll tell Briella we have a situation. Did you hear? I heard the Inquisition was here. Philippe should have returned hours ago. Dallying with some serving girl while I deal with Gaspar Vitriol. I can't imagine Gaspar being vitriolic. What's the matter? The Grand Duke bears a grudge against the Council for refusing him the crown. He's threatened death if they refuse him again, collectively and individually, along with their vassals. Four. What backwater did you come from? Everyone knows that. Really? Why the hell did I just go up? I think I can afford to go back eight minutes, man. Fuck this. I want to get this shit right. My court approval going like up and down the whole fucking time. Mm, nigga, I'm not all about the game and how you play it. Maybe I really didn't want to go back fucking eight minutes. Like, I'm getting this shit right, yo. That's the only reason why I'm going to keep going back and forth between bullshit. Come on. Look at Lady Candian's slippers. Trimmed with pearls. And emeralds. And those buckles. Toss her into the lake and she'll sink right to the bottom. What a disaster. There's a Tavinter assassin on the loose and you're concerned about buckles. On shoes. Everyone needs a hobby. Besides... You can learn a great deal about a person from their clothing. Gold and jewels on a dancing slipper. A slipper is easily lost and finds itself in the dust and dirt. She is unconcerned with the possibility of losing the shoe or soiling it. A vulgar display of wealth. But Lady Cambien's family has recently lost most of its holdings. They have their title, but little else. So, how did Cambian acquire such a grand shoe, hmm? What has she done? Who has she bedded? These are all useful questions, no? You're different here than in Skyhold. More approachable, perhaps? This is Halam Sheral, Inquisitor. This is the Imperial Court. This is the beating heart of the great game. Of course, everyone is wearing a mask. I learned this very young. I was still a girl when I attended my first ball. All this, the smiles, the small talk, it is a dance. And like any dance, it can be learned. For some of us, it has become so familiar that the steps may be performed in our sleep. I found this out. I'm not sure of its value. Very interesting. It may not help our investigation, but we can put it to use. A little more dirt like this. And we might have some leverage in the court. If you find more, let me know. I should go. Be on your guard. I always am. Where's Who's that on the gone? other side? Is that very uh, shit with Josephine? Oh, that's the shit I already did. Alright. I'll see you later. Another time. No, I remember this crap. Right. So I gotta get it to fucking save Vesta. Cause I don't know why that thing's glitched like that. That's stupid. Pretty sure that's the only area that's like that. Interesting. Boring. <laughs> Interesting. Boring. Well, well. What's this? Something else I can get the Cassandra, I'm guessing. This is gonna be such a fucking ball. You know what? Philippe should have returned hours ago. Dallying with some serving girl while I deal with Gaspar's vitriol. Awfully selfish of this Philippe. Running off to play and leaving you with all the work. I've half a mind to inform the Dowager. That would teach him to shirk his duties to roll some elven maid. 
the night of all nights, leaving me to convey Gaspar's death threats to the Council. Wonderful timing, Philippe. Thank you for listening to me, Ryan. You are too kind, Inquisitor. Man, that's only because I went back and did this bullshit again, man. I don't want to fuck this bullshit up. You know, somehow I lost mine. I lost one, one approval with these motherfuckers, but don't know how. But yeah, the Hall of Heroes. Yeah, that's Cassandra. At least we back to the grand ballroom. All right, yeah. Servants' quarters and shit. Servants' quarters. God damn it, yo! You need a key for. My lord. My Lord Inquisitor, may we have a word? It is very important. The Empress has sent us with a message for you. I'm always honored to hear from Her Majesty. Oh, she is the honored one, Inquisitor. Empress Celine is eager to assist the Herald of Andraste in his holy endeavor. She will pledge her full support to the Inquisition as soon as the usurper Gaspar is defeated. It's a generous offer. The Empress believes wholeheartedly that the Inquisition is our best hope for peace in these difficult times. She looks forward to cementing a formal alliance. As soon as Gaspar is out of the way. But we have taken enough of your time. Please, enjoy the masquerade, Inquisitor. Okay. Oh, I was just seeing if I could actually get back inside. Interesting. Well, that's useful. You must be mistaken. No, I'm quite certain it was blood on the tiles. If they're playing the game, they're not doing it very well. You don't leave evidence if you play to win. With Gaspard and that elf woman here, the only one playing to win is Celine. We need to get more of fucking hollow statues. I just realized looking at that shit, I did not want to come down here. Or come up here. Are you enjoying the ball? This is your first presentation at court, is it not? I am Lady Marcellette, court historian to Her Imperial Majesty. Are you here to chronicle the events of the evening for posterity? Oh yes, this is a momentous occasion. The first meeting between the Grand Duke and Her Majesty since the war began. Even if, maker forbid, the talks should fail, it is an important moment in the history of the Empire. What exactly does a court historian do? I am responsible for the historical records of the court. I maintain our library and record all official proceedings. Good evening, Lady Marcellette. Another time, perhaps. Did you hear what Gaspar said? This way is closed. Please, use the main entrance to the bullroom. Recent events. Recently, shit. I, found I forgot to start recording again, yo, because an unwelcome guest within these very shit. halls, an agent of Tavinta. So I offer you this, Inquisitor, a key found on the Tavinta's body. Where it leads, I cannot say. Yet, if Celine is in danger, I cannot leave her side long enough to search. You can. If you truly want answers, help me find them. I cannot. Celine requires me at her side this eve, and evidently for good reason. Proceed with caution, Inquisitor. Enemies abound, and not all of them aligned with Tavinta. What comes next will be most exciting. She. Alright, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to go talk to Liliana if they let me. I found this out. I'm not sure of its value. They'll never live this down. So now my shit's yo, my hope is down so damn low. Because I kept jumping off of the fucking edge. I told my seventh husband, Renard, never why would the Empress invite that elf woman? The game, of course. So the Inquisitor has to what do we owe this honor? We are always delighted to speak with you, of course. Why is she walking in place? God damn it, let me fucking save the damn game. Oh, that chick's out there. Yeah, I can't go over there yet. Oh, let me save the Duke Gaspard. 
Some fuck shit. Cause this chick is waiting out there, so I don't think I can go out there yet. Is there something we may do for I'm going to fuck it up. That's why I don't want to do this. We will speak to the Empress on your behalf. Perhaps you could tell me something then. I'd like to know more about Empress Selene. Her Majesty has held the throne since she was just 16 years old. She is respected and beloved, not just in Orlais, but across Thibes. She doesn't care much for liver, and she drinks a tea black. We mm. haven't been properly introduced. How rude of us to forget. My Lord Inquisitor, allow me to present Lady Couteau and Lady Colomb, and of course, Lady Fleur. We are the Empress's ladies in waiting. My investigations turned up something interesting. It concerns the Grand Duke. He's made a lot of threats to the Council of Heralds. The Grand Duke is all talk, Inquisitor. Very loud talk, accompanied by swords. He has never had any skill at the game. Good evening. Until next time, Inquisitor. Do take care. Enjoy the masquerade. It's the first time. I think it's the first time I saw Ambassador Brianna. Wasn't trying to talk to her yet, though. I'm still in mourning tonight. Lord Inquisitor. Would you care to dance, Lady Mantillon? You, Inquisitor, are a delight. One does not often find foreigners so well versed in the game. But you have other dances to perform first. Perhaps you will save me your dance for later? Good evening, my lady. Black go, 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 go.